Hello, I'm Richard Raffin. Uh, I have here a slab of elm cut from the end of a log, uh, and I'm aiming to turn it into pencil pots, cross grain pencil pots, and uh, deeper tubes. First up is to uh, dust this off and get an idea of where the splits might be. The major one in the center, oh, there's one there, and the main one is across there and a few little splits coming in from the side. <coughs> it's quite lumpy this, uh, being close on uh, four inches thick I think. Uh, 130 mil which is uh, more like an inch and three quarters. Uh, four and three quarters rather. Right, so I've got a bit more there. So um, this is green. It was growing uh, a couple of months ago. So whatever I turn out of it is going to warp, and that's what I want. Um, and the closer I can get to the center, the more warping I get. Because as wood dries out, the bits on the outside here, these broad growth rings are busy trying to straighten themselves out. So if I cut a straight line here, or if I cut a board out of here, uh, in a few weeks time, it will be a totally different shape. It will have bent back. So I'm going across there first, partially just to uh, get me lighter lumps of wood to handle. And there's going to be a lot of shavings with this, so the dust extractor's going on. And I get my ear protection on. I've got a fairly new blade on this. I sharpened it yesterday uh, on my high-speed grinder. You can see a little video on that. So that's looking pretty good. Now I want, uh, I don't need these end bits with the, um, with the splits, so I'm just going to take those off. That's now firewood. come off. Now I can use that bit to oh, be a much wider pot than I thought. about there so this can be tapered in fact I think I'll just do it that kind of width which means I need to square it up uh, take another bit off in a second and I just need to square Square this up, Maybe somewhere around there. A little bit inside that. Oh, a bit wobbly that straight line. And that's strong, which is good. So that's one one blank that's going to be quite a big cylinder and uh, I'd like uh, what would I want it now I think I'm going to cut that in half the commercial side of me coming through 
easier to sell two small bits than one big one. On the other hand, it'll be fun to make a big one. Right, lots of splits coming in here. Forward. A little bit of colour there. There are a few little splits coming in from there, so I can get rid of those. Now that'll be a long way down for a, uh, for a vase, but there really will be and the decorative vases, I quite enjoy making those. Right, split in the middle. So I can basically cut out the pith, which is going to be there to there, which gives me a uh, Pencil pots or vases either end. Let's yeah, go across here. That's a pretty tubby little vase. I've almost got. I've got a little kind of pot uh, vase shape in there, which. Might be more interesting, yes. I'll cut this out first. It'll be a little kind of hollow turning thing. Well, we'll get another one here, I think. I'll just cut that out. I don't want that. That's where I'd like the top, really, the top of the vase. So I want some movement in it.
So I've now got a vase blank where I've got the possibility of a kind of white top. Um, but I really want the movement, a distorted rim, so it'll be that way round. And I've got two parallel sides there, and this is not parallel, so it goes up there. just cut off a very slim bit. Right, that's going to be a bath. And I want all of that. I'm going to keep that for that'll be a little dish. It's be square. Next thing is to cut out all the all the splits. That's and to the lathe. I realise I should have shown you what I've got. Um, so, potential long thin tubes, uh, probably a box, a pencil pot, pot thing that way. Um, it'll have a fair amount of sap on the side so that'll be probably quite a pretty pattern and then these will be uh, ingrain pots. That'll be a little bowl, little, little warping peanut bowl, something like that. So this is what I ended up with out of this slab. Uh, this is around 10 inches high, 260 uh, millimeters uh, beaded pots. Now each of these has uh, its own video so you can see each one being made. Unfortunately, not these two because I messed up. Uh, I forgot to press the button to start the camera on occasion. Another one, I got it out of focus. And uh, yes, things went wrong. Anyway, these you'll see in the next few weeks. <laughs>